everybody, Exxon of Execution, Gonmu here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Minecraft, episode 21. Um, unfortunately, this is actually my second time recording this episode. Um, I actually recorded a whole 35 minute episode for you guys earlier on today, and only to find out that Fraps wasn't recording my microphone. So, I'm going to have to quickly run through a couple of updates that have happened. It's not too much of a big deal. Um, because obviously this is a slime chunk farm, uh, the slime farm, t uh, episode today. So I'll show you where we've got, I'll show you, and I also made a mistake as well, which is really annoying because I've now got to rectify it. But as you can see, nothing has changed with this, that is still the same. I've been purely working on the slime farm, which I'll show you in a moment. But quickly, just up here, this is as far as we've got with the bookshelves as well, we got a little bit further. I think we're now going up to level 24 now, so I should be okay if I just take this wall here, just fill up this wall, so six more bookcases, and we should be fine. Um, I've been breeding the cows, and I went on a little bit of an adventure over there, purely for cows. Um, just uh, below this as well is actually a slime chunk, um, so I've over here, um, I've dug this down. Now, I actually looked at the wiki to see at what level slimes spawn at, and the wiki said um, below level 40. So, because I just needed this to be a quick slime farm, I literally went down to level 40 and um, dug two layers out. Okay, this took me a good hour or so. Obviously, I, I, did, I did some of it as a time lapse, which you will see in a moment, in fact, and... Um, the rest of it I did off screen. Just thought I'd tidy up a bit there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to the time lapse of me building it. Well, actually, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it's like level 33, and I've built two layers. So here right now is the clip of me hollowing it out and building some of the layers. Alright guys, welcome back. I hope you kind of saw what I was going for there. So we're going to hop down here now. I'll show you what it looks like now. Um, so obviously, as I said, I built this based on what the wiki said, which was level 40. Um, I will tell you now that the actual level is 16. So here we have one layer. You know, I was doing, basing it on ethos. It was going to be wood leveled and then grass in the middle when I get a silk touch pick. 
This took me forever to clear out, and then we have another layer down here. <gasps> Ooh, some slimes. Look at that. We have two slime balls, yeah! Alright, so this is a slime chunk, as you just saw, but we are not low enough yet. We're only on level 33. Well, my feet are on level 33, so this level here is 33. So I actually need to go down, which is what I've been doing here, to level 16. There's actually a spider somewhere. Um, to make this fully fully fledged. So all of what I've done here is completely useless. Which has really, really annoyed me. So I'm probably going to make it into like a storage or something. This will be used eventually. Probably for storage or possibly mine shafts. I don't know, but it will be used. And so will this level as well. We'll neaten it up. I'm not going to delete it, there's no point. So we need to go down to level 16. Which I have actually done. Um, I've had to tunnel my way up because this is actually a ravine when we see smooth stone it should be pretty soon as far as I know yeah right, here we go all right here this is where one of the pads needs to be because this is oh this is level 13 and then a little bit higher than that should be the next level so Basically, I've now got a task ahead of me of clearing this out as well. I'm probably only going to do one level at this. Um, just because of I literally just want slime ch uh, slime balls for now. This is not going to be a final a, a final final slime a, 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 a slime farm. So guys, I'm literally just going to hollow this out to the size of the chunk, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I just literally went back up to get a couple more picks, and there's a slime here. So maybe the wiki was right. Maybe I had to just relog the world. I'm quite confused right now, because that means some of these pads are actually still going to work. And we're going to get some slime balls like crazy now. Which is awesome, that is actually really good, because that means I don't need to worry so much about getting that chunk down there done. That's 14 slime balls. This one doesn't seem to be working, but the other one does. So, I'm actually going to keep these picks. I'm actually not going to bother going down there for now. That's really good, because that means at least this is going to work a little bit. So we can actually get to some of these other projects done. This episode is going to be better than I thought. So, in this new excitement, which is really awesome, we have 14 slime balls. That should be enough for what we need anyway. So guys, if you give me a moment, I'll just get, I'll go to sleep. I'll get my supplies ready and I'll meet you over by the obsidian farm to finish it. Alright guys, welcome back. I have 12 sticky pistons. Yes, this is how, this is how we're going to do it now. So things should go well with this build, which is awesome. It's taken a little bit longer than I thought to get these slime balls, but we are getting there. So what I need to do is I need to clear this bit out here. And the pistons need to go here, as far as I remember. Like so because then these will have these blocks on. All I can hear is the damn zombie spawner, which we'll deal with in a moment. So when those are powered, uh, which are going to be powered by blocks under there, aren't they? This is all going to have to be neatened up. I'm fully aware of this, so... It should be these blocks here. Let's delete that for a moment. I thought you'd like to see me build this thing completely, so I'm going to keep this video part in. Um, we might need repeaters here. Because I think if I connect them like this, they won't power. So, yeah, I'm probably going to need repeaters for that. Not a problem at all. This whole area will have to be boxed off, I think. So, I'm, I'm aware of that and ready for that. I know there's going... I need to get my cobblestone... Gonna need some form of building material. That'll do. Do I have any redstone torches left? I have some, and I have a repeater. Let's actually just make sure these 
I've got this piston layer at the right level. I mean, yeah. that's not extending, is it? Yeah. Give me that. Ah, uh, no, it's the wrong one. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can, we can actually do this without repeaters. I think. If I do that. Yes, we can do it without repeaters. Right. This is good. It means it's it's more cost efficient for me. So I can fill those two in. Like so. And I can feed this up. Which this wire will go to the lever. Now I need to get these wool these blocks in. These wool blocks in, should I say? So that's just. I only need four, so one, two, three, and I'll take that one. So what what is what I'm thinking is, lava clear up is always white. That's how I had it before. Now I don't actually. Do I have any lapis? I do. We'll have a blue one, which is for the water, and then where's the red flowers? I swear we had red flowers. I thought we had red flowers. Oh no! What happened to my red flowers? Yo. Well I see a yellows. Give me red flower. Got a bit gangster here, I have no idea why. Give me a red just a red flower. I know they are the rarer of the two flowers. I don't want to have to stand out here with bone meal. Give me a red flower. That's quite cool. I can't believe I never noticed that. Is there seriously no red flower in the vicinity? Not even one. Or do planes only have... No, planes do have red flowers, don't they? Yeah. God, I hate this bug in 1.3.2. So annoying. Red flower. No red flowers. Why not? Is there seriously nothing? I've been down there. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't realise this was here. Red flower. Red flower. Oh, all of this for a red flower. Fine. I'll have to bone meal it. I only need a red and an orange one. I mean, obviously, I know you mix yellow and orange. That's why I got the yellow flower. But ooh, thank you, chicken. I'll put that in my egg harvest um, chest. No red flower. Let's quickly grab this while we're going. So yeah, guys, how are you enjoying this series so far? I know I'm pumping these out a lot more often. Um, uh, that is a good point actually, that brings up a good point. I'm currently recording this on a Friday night, um, Friday the 14th. You unfortunately won't see this until the beginning of next week. I cannot tell you what day I need to, it will be whatever day I'm at my girlfriend's. Um, she's got mu- <gasps> Is that what I think it is? A red flower? Um, she has far better internet than me, and she's very supportive of my um, hobby, you know, being YouTube. So, she doesn't mind me borrowing her internet to upload. So, I can make these as long as I feel like, and I can still upload them, which is a really good thing for me. So, give me the meat. There we go. Actually, that's a cow. 
We have a test certificate. Yes, I was wondering that whether we had test certificates left for trading. Oh, that was good. We got a bit of leather out of that. So I might actually see if this guy, what this guy might want to trade. Uh, nothing I can do. Do we still have some? Vi yes, we have some villagers. Right, I was gonna make a proper town for these guys, like Etho did. Wheat for emeralds. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I've. Is it just me, or did I hear a pressure plate? Is that just me? Anyway, I will be making like a proper village for these guys somewhere, probably an underground one like Etho did. I do get my inspiration a lot from Etho. He's Oh my god, really? I forgot I even put them there. Now I feel like an absolute idiot. Right. Uh, I need a red one. No, I don't. Whoa, okay, almost messed that up. I need a yellow one. Yellow and a orange one. Crap. I didn't mean that. Uh, I did want a red one. I didn't want a yellow one. That was the one I didn't want. And now I have a yellow piece of wool that I don't want. Alright, pumpkin. That. That. Um, that. I will not want that. Melons. Alright, let me just quickly chuck these in the farm. This is going... Alright, get in. You two have grown up. I will get you to breeding in a moment. I need to get you to breeding as fast as I can. What did I... Huh? Oh well. I have no idea how I got one of those. I need a piece of wool. Oh, see, I cannot dye the brown wool. Right. That's correct. There we go. Right. Let me just chuck these in. So we have... Uh, water... Water... Lava... Water activate. Nice. Let me just see if the... This is almost done. One, two, one, two... Hang on, how do you make a button? It's on top, isn't it? So I need three buttons. And I will need a lever. Now, does it have to be smooth stone or cobblestone? Or oh, just grab both. It's cobble, isn't it? Yep. Oh, well, we have some smooth stone now for when we need it. I'm going to go pop these controls on and then take the quick sleep. So that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. So we'll have toggle the water, toggle the lava, um, flip the, uh, the pistons I just put in up and down, and the lava clear up, which we will sort out afterwards so I can get these pistons down. Yes! I'm quite excited now. I think we'll go take a quick trip down to the slime farm. Make sure it's actually still producing slimes, because I don't want it to be completely useless. I'm quite surprised now, because I left thinking that I wasn't going to get any more slimes. Like, the, this slime farm wasn't going to work at all, but... It's producing some. I can hear one. There is a big slime. It's given me some slimes on this f on this pad, which is fair enough. She's fine by me. I mean, one big slime is actually pretty good for slime balls. Do do do. I mean, that alone is back, got us back up to 14 slime balls, so for now, this is definitely plenty. I mean, I'm never going to need to farm them heavily. Yeah, this has made me super happy now. Definitely makes me want to keep going. We can basically make anything, because we've got the hardest thing to collect. 
or to get, which would be the sticky pistons. So now I have the job of wiring up this so because you have to adapt them around so you know I can leave that nice and simple up that does power all of them doesn't it yep up and down now I've just realized that for looks sake I do want to invert that signal so it's off and on okay so it's a much better look in my eyes so that's that now the water that the blue block needs to lead to this dispenser which we can do if we can nope, hang on right we can bring it let me think let me think let me think if I place on a bit of redstone there and press the button it does not so right it's definitely got to be a direct from that like that which is not an, too much of an issue because then we can go like that and over. Yep, that's pink powered, which is good. And then we can cut round like this and on. See where this is going to get complicated now? Now we can't do that because this needs to be powered from an angle. And I can't mess with that. So this actually needs to be powered like this. Now you see there would be a neater way to do this. Um, which would be going into this layer here. But I would like to keep this layer clear for the wall that obviously will surround it. There you go, you just heard the dispenser go. So that's an on and off because that's how pistons work beautiful and then the red one I need to okay hang on a minute All right let me just sort this out a bit this is wiring maintenance here hop up and put that there so now that's clear now I still have the repeater can do that and nope repeat it out which is good that will still pick it up because if I now put that there let me get oh no I do have torches what am I on about and do that that won't mess with any of those signals unless I do that which I've just realized hey, let me think let me think let me think because if I put that there, that's going to disturb that signal, which we can't have. This has got to come up because of where I've put this invert. What I'm actually thinking of doing is something that I should have done before. Inverting the signal down here. Because if I take that block out and put that there and take that block out and put that there and then put that like that I can take that inverter out get myself stuck yeah that was a good plan wasn't it Reese? <laughs> if I put that like that put that back all of that back uh, remove that block and if I run the wire around the edge, make it nice and neat like that. Wait a minute. I pal oh. 
Oh dear God, guys, I am. I am not with it today. I've been putting this. The side with the pistons that go up is always the water side, and I've been powering it to the lava. Oh no, I haven't. Oh my God, I'm having a mental breakdown here, guys. Ah. Right, no, this was right. Right. It's because I'm trying to think about this and do it at the same time. So none of... It's fine, we have more. None of this up here should be here. Right. This is ex never Execution's mind at redstone work. It's because I'm trying to t commentate, talk, and make it entertaining and everything at the same time. Okay, so. If this can be powered from a block next to it, like this which is good because we can bring it down to he yes we can we can bring it down to here and as long as we no we can't bring it down to there yet because it'll in it'll combine with that wire what we we need to do is go like that like that like that, like that, and then we can put a block over that and bring the wire down. Which I really didn't want to do, but I might have to bring it, the this out one more just so I can fill in a nice wall. Okay, so now the water is connected. This has to be here for anyone that wants to know. That middle block doesn't, but that has to be here to stop those two wires um, joining up. Now this one will be done by the repeater and it will go to this block which will be done by a redstone torch because this one is the lava so we need to get it over to there. And now I'm thinking I'm trying to think because I've got this all done underground. Uh, well, in my head, this should all be done underground. That's gonna have to go there and be blocked off by. But it can't be because it blocks those signals. So I'm gonna have to do it into a block and a redstone. So this is all. This is all wired differently in the creative world, right? That works. Good. Now I need to get it over to that dispenser. Hmm. If I can't put a block there because I'll block that signal. But I can do a block up here. I can run this over the walkway. Uh, now we're thinking, because I will actually need to use this as well. And bring it down. Now we are thinking with blocks. So if we press it, we should hear the dispenser click, which we did. So now you obviously you won't see any of this because of where the walk, the door walkway and everything will be. Really good. Now it's just the lava clear up, which we actually need to put the pistons in place. So we can use this as a little stairway for now. Now what this is is above this piston, uh, the, the piston. So above the. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me think about it. Above the dispenser, there we go, will be a sticky piston line, basically, um, which will have blocks on, which will push blocks there to low, which will push blocks to, dis to um, diminish the Uh, excess lava, that's what it... I'm trying to think and... I'm trying to do everything at once here, guys. Leave me alone! Right, let me just light up back here to stop things spawning. I know things won't, but... It's also so I can see. Right. No. 
Right, there we go. So bang, 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 bang. Is that right? No, that doesn't need to be there. And then bang, bang. Right, nice. And then on top of those will be blocks. So it just looks like a normal walkway to everyone. Let me just do this. So it is now a completely sealed container. The but, but you cannot put a torch in here though, that would be the only problem. So I might put a pumpkin or something up there, which would actually be a really good idea, but I'll do it when I finish all the wiring. And then, because of this, we can delete this and this. And we can put one line of cobblestone along here. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to have to bring up... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to have to repeater it out and bring it to here. Which is going to be annoying because it's going to be the pathway. Repeater it out and bring it to here. And then... And I can't because of this runway is in the way. Repeat her out and bring it to here. It's literally only got to get to that line of pistons. Which I've just thought about. If I do from the... Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, you son of a... Guys, I'll be right back. Let me fix it. Alright guys, it has been an absolute headache because of how close I ended up building this to the actual control panel, but I have finally rigged it all up properly. Um, here is the wiring. Um, I hope you can see it okay. Um, it was got really, really annoying towards the end because of how close it was and trying to dis get uh, like disperse these evenly before hitting any of this was kind of annoying. So the first one runs up here just through a simple wire straight to the dispenser and obviously these blocks are here just to block these two wires connecting. Second one is the lava dispenser which comes through this repeater up along this track round to the dispenser. Nice and simple one there. Um, this lever which up and ups and lowers the, the arm for the water goes through this wire into that repeater um, into a wire round to there into an inverter just because I prefer the lever to be the other way into the pistons and then finally the clear lava button which activates this line of pistons here goes from this repeater through this block into this repeater to stop it colliding with this wire into this wire and runs up here which these actually don't need to be here into this line of pistons. Now what this line of pistons does is, is when there's residue lava sitting on the obsidian that's going to be here um, it takes forever to disperse, doesn't it? So, nice, quick, simple. Pop it down. Clears all the lava up and you can start going in and getting rid of the um, excess. So now I'm really anxious to give this a full working try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack the slime balls in there. And the spare torch. The redstone and the pistons. We might finally be done with this obsidian farm for now, guys, which is really good. I'm going to go grab a bucket of water, as we will only ever need one because of the dis the new disp uh, dispenser function. I haven't destroyed the water. Nice. Let's give this a proper go, shall we? I've just put my redstone away, but we need it. Um, so this is the water dispenser, and... And the one that's hidden under here is the lava dispenser. Now, let me just grab the redstone. And let's give this a go before it gets night time, shall we? No, nope, that's not the right chest. That is two, three, four, five. Now, it only does five at a time, but believe me, for obsidian, that's perfect. So what you'll do is you'll come here. And we need a door quickly so we don't get any lava spill. Let's actually do that, because I definitely don't want any lava spill on the first go. 
I'm not going to collect this because I would rather have it an enchanted diamond pick. But with this new with this contraption here, we will be able to get to the Nether nice and quickly. So what you do is you'd come in here and you would line your five redstone along the along here to the wall. Okay, this is how it should be set up. Now I'm going to go through it step by step for you guys. First of all, you would press the water button. Now what will this do is the dispenser will release the water and it will sit on top of these blocks right here. Next you would press the engage water which will bring the water down to this point. So now any lava that meets that will obviously turn into obsidian. Now this is what we need to do. You close this. Now when this is engaged we press the lava button. The lava pours out and the redstone is turned into obsidian. Now wait until you hear the final one or you can see it go up to the door and you want to press the lava button again. This will stop the source block and put it back into the dispenser. And then click the lava cleanup button, bring the pistons down and there you have a line of five obsidian ready for you to collect. And whenever you want to turn it off, bring the arm back up and bring the water back in. And there you have, that is a complete fully working obsidian farm. Um, I'm so proud of this considering as far as I'm aware I'm the, I designed this completely um, not completely the basic idea is from um, a YouTube video I have watched oh my god there's a creeper on my chicken farm I never thought I'd say that um, whoa okay that took out way more than I needed to as far as I'm aware I did most of the wiring and the contraptions and stuff. Um, the actual basic idea of the um, obsidian farm was definitely not designed by me. But as you get the point. Now because of the new dispenser functions with the water and the lava it's amazing. I didn't need to put T flip flops on the or monostable circuits on the lava and water. And the pistons are pretty simple. Um, obviously this is a lever because it needs to stay up the whole time this machine is active and the other pistons is just because they only need to be there for a few seconds so if you give me a minute guys I'm going to collect everything from here um, and we will put the sticky piston, the piston in the um, zombie farm and that will finish off the sticky piston quest Okay guys, so we're going to get this thing all sorted out. Now I'm going to undo that and let them out. Come on in. Oh, we're going to get hit me a bit, are we? So what I'm going to have to do is take their source block away. Get down. Take that source block away, so they can't get any high. Oh no, I forgot the source block is moved. Ah, there we go. Right, I forgot to had to move it. Now get down, get down, get down. Now we destroy that and give me that piston. Uh, no, because it needs to go back one more block, doesn't it? And put that there. Give me this food. Let me just collect my stuff back. I don't want to lose that. And we run this. I will need to go get some redstone actually because I want to power it by a lever here. Uh, which I'm not going to be able to, I'm going to have to bring that. You bring that to here actually. But it's only temporary, it's not that much of a big deal. Just. Let me go get the water source again. And a couple of pieces of redstone. Sorry, I went a little bit quiet there, didn't I? I didn't notice. 
give me that water source block. Oh, I missed some reeds. God damn it. So yeah, we'll probably we'll knitting this up definitely later. Let's put those back and definitely put that back. Get rid of that. Put that there. Put that there. And obviously, well that that should work, shouldn't it? Yep. So we can now block them off. No, they're still going to be hurt by it. I might I think it might be because it's the same level as the zombies. I mean, don't go wrong, it's hurting them. Oh, one stayed up. Sup, zombie? That zombie stayed up. Right, I will. I think it needs to go one block lower, which is good because that means I can keep the source block. But hey. Anyway, guys, that is it so far for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Now we have a fully working obsidian farm. And let's just end it in the slime farm, shall we? It's been a nice long episode for you. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've definitely enjoyed producing this for you. It should be a lengthy episode for you. You've seen a lot of me in action doing the redstone and stuff. We have a medium slime, and I bet nothing. Oh, no, we have another medium slime. Not too bad. So, yeah, I definitely hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you look forward to the next episode. I definitely look forward to creating the next episode. And I have no idea what we'll be working on. I'm sure we will find out soon enough. See you later, guys.